Hey, Gearheads, Jeff with Gear Report. We're here at Chacho 2017 for the Six Hour booth with Bud Feeney. He is an executive vice president at Six Hour, and he's going to give us the lowdown on a really innovative new round for 300 Blackout. This is a subsonic round that solves some interesting problems. So, Bud, what was the real driver behind the development of this round? Well, it's very interesting, actually. The U.S. military came to us because they were having problems in feeding in their magazines. Right. And to my knowledge, right now, there's no other round on the market that you can load more than 13, whether it's a 30 or a 20 round mag, okay. without, after going past that, without experiencing some problems. Right. So the total emphasis was to provide a reliable feeding round in the 300 blackout, allowing right. you to use the full capacity of the magazine. Right. That doesn't necessarily, to a layman, doesn't sound like that'd be a hard problem to solve. My understanding is this was a significant project, <laughs> this right? This is a two-year kind of project. What kind of resources did Six Hour put into solving this problem? We have three engineers working on this project, you know, okay? And, uh, it, you know, it does sound simple. Like, you know, once you've learned a recipe for making a cake, right. you just follow the same recipe and it always comes out just perfect. But that's not true. Because there are other factors involved, such as expansion, right? What velocities, at what distances. So that requires iteration after iteration right. after iteration. Well, I can tell you, we, this is the 19th version of that room. The 19th. And they don't go next night. I mean, you have to redesign guys, right. the tooling, to in order to construct the bullet again, and then you go through the process. Yes. Okay, so developed to solve a problem within the military, you know, agency type community. Correct. But Correct. then, you know, when I was presented with this, you know, a couple days ago at the range, I said, hey, check this out. I, uh, look at that. I'm a hunter. I have not been able to find a good 300 blackout subsonic ground that will expand at, at subsonic velocities. And, and you're right. And you're, it you're excites right. me to know that I'm going to have an option here. Because you know, tell me, was that part of the design? You know, is this just, hey, we solved this other problem and look at this. Now we got something cool we can bring. They're, they're, really, they're really integral. I mean, you can't have one, you, you shouldn't have one without the other because you don't accomplish the total objective sure. that you want to do. So, yes, and, and I can assure you that this has been used on numerous rounds of game. Right. Deer size, hogs, and the expansion is just incredible. And the, and the knockdown power. One shot, clean kills on, especially okay. large white tailed deer in the east. Right. We've been using it all fall. Uh, okay. at Six Hour Academy, we have a lot of deer on the ground. Right. And um, it, it's done extremely well. Right. Extremely well. What kind of ranges are you able to extend out to? Because that's a problem when you're firing yeah. subsonic heavy rounds. Yeah. You know, when are you, when are you going to no longer be effective with the right expansion? I, I wouldn't go out farther than 150. Okay. I think 150. that's maximum. 100 yards is just okay. superb. Yeah. Nice. Superb. Okay. Excellent. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, getting my hands on these. Are these available in the market now? Not yet. Very okay. short. And, and you know, I don't think we we talked about what the official name is. When when this is available, what do people ask for? Su uh, subsonic 300 blackout, okay. 220 grain V crown. V crown. It is okay. a, it is an Good. official member of our V crown family, just like our pistol and other rifles. Excellent. Okay. And when should they be able to get it? Uh, late in the first quarter, early second quarter. Okay, that's good. That's going to give plenty of time. Again, as the hunter, you know, I know the agency, the military folks have other ideas, but that means time to get out and do the ballistic testing, make sure I'm comfortable with how it performs. Uh, that, that's good. Good timing. Sure. All right. Hey, thank yeah. you for coming by. We Th appreciate it. Thanks for delivering that, of course. We've been looking for something like that. My pleasure. So, Bud Feeney, six hour. We'll see you at the range.